Hello, this is Kevin from Watch Me Train, and I am here with... Anya, who is working out in this video. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there you are, doing push-ups. And, um, this is a very special time, because I did ask you before, like, about what? I kept on asking you leading up to this moment, like, like two weeks ago, it's like, <laughs> but we couldn't find the time to sync our... Our, our schedules together so that she can do narration, narration, but this works out even better because she just did her show in which she's working out for it in this video, and it was the Stratford show this past weekend, April 13th, and you placed... I placed first in medium class, and I placed first overall. Nice! And yes, she placed first overall. In bikini. <laughs> in bikini, yes. And, um... I thought it was just amazing. She looked absolutely phenomenal, and uh, like there, there was really nothing I want to say. Everything was on point. Like I said, your color, your your feet was very streamlined, and your hair, your hair was long. <laughs> it was. <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah, you're doing delts here, and. I know you started with push-ups. You usually start with push-ups with your with your delts. Um. Yeah. Well, if I find it just gets me warmed up a little bit more. Cause you you can activate when you do push-ups, and it's better than like usually I'll do a little bit of cardio, but we didn't get to it before this uh, before this workout. So mm -hmm. I'm just like, you know, I'm gonna do a little bit of push-ups to get me fired up, mm -hmm. and then um, it really helps when I start with my overhead. Okay. There we go. And is there a method to your madness? Is there something that you say to yourself, all right, I'm going to look at, my, I, uh, uh, I look at my physique, and I need to work on this, this, and this. Um, is that something you did for this workout? And for this time around, for this prep, I should say? Yeah, absolutely. I worked with um, my coach, Adam Hedlin, and he made a program for me, um, sort of assessing my body and uh, being like, okay, so we need to bring up your delts a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. So, um, mostly, you know, I was pretty lean in my stomach. Um, I have, oh, like, good development, but we wanted to just sort of make everything a little, you know, pop a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So, you know, build up the legs, the glutes, um, get a, a, the look of a more narrow waist by building up the upper body. Yes, yes. And that, and it's all about illusions, folks. When you're exactly. doing any kind of competition, you, you hide the... the what do we call it? We hide the... I don't want to say faults because it's not a woman, but we accentuate the positives exactly. of the physique. And you did, I thought your posing was, was absolutely spot on. It was, it was, it was, did you practice the, did you do different poses this time around? Do you feel like you did different poses? I, I did. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's definitely something that you kind of like work on with each show because, I mean, my first show I, I got, um, somebody to, to coach me for it, um, actually it really helped me. Okay, yeah. And, you know, it, I was good, but I was nervous, you know, because it's your first show, and you're like, oh my gosh, like, I just looked yeah. down eight <laughs> points off, <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. you just, like, I, I got up there and I was so nervous, but, you know, the more you get on stage, the more confident you get, and um, just by even, like, looking at the, you know, pictures and, like, different poses that I did before, I'm like, you know what, I think I can make that a little bit better. Um, and I was also coached by Heather Byrne okay. um, for my Henderson Thorne show yeah. um, last Heather. July. And uh, she helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, she, she helped me find poses that yeah. um, look best for my body, yeah. you know? So yeah. that's what I try and do when I get on stage is, is, is find that pose where, you know, um, it shows everything that I've worked for. Yeah, and it's, it's funny you mentioned Heather Barnes, yeah, so, yeah, because uh, she judged a couple of my shows in the IFA mm -hmm. and everything like that, and uh, I know Jen Trotman went <laughs> over to her and helped her with her posing, so Heather is doing something very well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, here's your, like, your shoulders looking very jack. Oh, what a timely saying. <laughs> there you go. You can see the close-up. And you go so with the ensemble, my you know, matching. Always, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I like to, I like to match my gym outfit. Yep, um, yep. Actually, my sister is like more stylish than me in the gym. Mm -hmm. She, she loves the matching outfits, and 
She she actually has more sneakers than mm. I do too to match her. Oh, there we life. go. There we go. She buys a green pair of sneakers and then she's like, okay, I, I got to get a green outfit. So we basically you know walk around the mall <laughs> looking for stuff that'll match her sneakers. That's you know oh. <laughs> stuff that it can get. <laughs> how, how she sold you out. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> And she's actually in this video, anybody who doesn't know Anya is a twin. Um, I think we did pan over to her earlier, and now we're going to pan over to her again. Like, she was in the background last time, but then we're going to see her. We're going to really see her. Cause I You'll see her, her, her outfit is matching. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, <laughs> Her yes, shoes yes. match her shorts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet. Yeah, and I think she's going to yell over to you very soon. Probably. Uh, pan over to her. <laughs> to um, chatting in between each set. <laughs> Not so later. So when, when, you, when you when you when you uh, because I know uh, you you mentioned Adam. He uh, runs uh, Team uh, T Rex. Team T Rex. Yes. Yes. And everybody doesn't know Team T Rex. Check it out. Because like, I always when I saw your the pictures and everything, I was like, wow, Team T Rex really knows their stuff because yeah. there were there's there's certain things that you know and then certain things that people have themselves and then there's certain things that you know like somebody has guided you into the direction of and when it comes to um building the physique you know they really did the job because the first thing i noticed is because i know you're narrower in the waist and the first thing i noticed was that you had the v taper and you sh and you showed curve on stage because you're again you're you're narrow in the waist like your your hips go straight down yeah uh and you couldn't tell that on stage and that was that's one of those things where it's like wow what are you like doing today? you really did your homework and <laughs> you guys did your homework oh, exactly see, there's your sister now there she is mm -hmm. check it out she's matching mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> uh, i think she's wearing uh Nikes. yeah green and purple yeah Nikes. <laughs> Uh, there, yeah, and again, I I like this post. I like this uh this shot because I get the beer and editing is a great. That was one of my favorites. I put it I put it in the promo video. If anyone wants to see the promo video, the promo video is really good. It's like one of my favorites. And, uh, it is really good. <laughs> yeah. I was inspired watching it. If I do say so myself. Nice. How many times did you actually watch? Tell everybody. I don't even know. Probably like twelve. Oh, <laughs> so twelve I, only. I thought you were gonna say twenty. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I watched it a lot of times. Nice. I, I like the back shots. So I always like seeing yeah. the definition. Yeah, the, the definition. Yeah, you have tremendous definition in your back. You even have, um, so you, you have uh, one traps one? too. I was like, yeah. Because, uh, I do actually. They just, oh, I've always had them. They just activate, mm -hmm. especially oh, yeah. when I do my shoulders as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The others, you're gonna see some exercises where they, yeah, you really see them popping. And and to, to mention popping, like a couple weeks before this, because I remember I contacted you and I was like, I gotta get you in this watch me train video. And I saw your shoulders, like you were at the Richmond location. Your shoulders were huge. I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> She's crossing over the finger. <laughs> yeah, you, that's what you asked me occasionally. But I was like, no, just, just doing shoulders. And it was um, the first time I did uh, the workout that Adam had given me for my delts. Mm -hmm. And it, it killed me. It was, well, was that was that a shoulder workout called anything? It was like, called like the shoulder popping workout. Because <laughs> like, you have, like, if I, I, said, I wish I had a picture of these, the, of the shoulders that day because they were round, they were huge. Like, <laughs> I thought you took two scoops of pre-work. Probably. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think maybe I just ate more carbs that day. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was, that was, that I was must looking full. <laughs> yeah, that was a high carb day because I was like, yeah, you were doing like, uh, I think, a bent over lateral races, then you just, I said, I, I came to say hi, because I saw you, and then you just pop up and I see your shoulders. <laughs> and I'm yeah. like, that's all I'm staring at, I'm like, yeah, so what's going on? <laughs> yeah. I'm just looking at both shoulders. Um, that was, yeah, that was, that was, it was crazy. Yeah, I think actually, usually when, when I do eat more carbs, like, I, obviously it, it makes me look a little bit more full, mm -hmm. and this is probably one of my low carb days. Yeah. So looking a little bit more flat than I usually look when I work out. Did, did you, yeah, speaking of the carbs, do you do you find that uh, car, how, how do carbs affect you? Do they, you know, like, is it, 
like, okay, I'm going high carb day and everything starts popping, or is... Yeah, pretty much. Like, I mean, I'm pretty carb sensitive. If, if I'm eating a lot of carbs all the time, I, it, it definitely doesn't make me leaner. It actually makes me hold more water. Okay. Um, but as for high carb days, I love them. <laughs> I, I don't think I'll, you'll find anybody that doesn't like them. Uh, I, I just think that they, I have the best workouts. And usually I'll try and do... Um, like a glute let or leg workout yeah. uh, when I do my high carb days to really, um, you know, get uh, that protein to that muscle. <laughs> and that is, I'm glad you said that because that's very important. It's very strategic because you can see yeah. um, and how she does, even when the, the, how the dieting um, kind of exists with the... The training. Um, the training so it's it's not like okay i'm just random doing this random doing that yeah. like there's, there's a there's rhyme like, and reason for everything exactly and then that's what then that's sometimes you know because i could imagine in your in your earlier diets like it wasn't the same way oh absolutely not <laughs> i was just guessing you know like you like when you start you uh, i didn't know anything really and i didn't have a coach um at all so well actually uh, my sister had done a show so i kind of just sort of copied what she did mm -hmm. and you know and we were both sort of experimenting yeah. so. and twins have the same dna yes <laughs> so but yeah my sister does kind of interesting in a way because we are twins and we do have different preferences uh mm -hmm. i do bikini and then my sister does figure and she she's obviously stronger than I am. She can lift more than I can. And, you know, if anything, like, she's just, you know, overall, like, her fitness is a bit better than mine because... Did you change the pin, though, on that, or did you just go in? Um, <laughs> actually, I just went in. Yeah, so you yeah. stronger my ass. <laughs> she, she has her strong points, but she's... She's definitely built up her body, her upper body, a lot more than I have. Um, and because she started competing before I did. Yeah, I was about to ask that. Yeah. Oh, yes. So she, she started competing in figure, and she was the one that inspired me to get into competing. Um, and, you know, I just, when I went to her first show at IDFA, I was... I was so inspired just by, not, not only by my sister, but by everyone with, that was there. And I'm like, you know, I can do this. Actually, I think Jen Trotman was in that show. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm probably the one I trained Jen for. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. I, and I remember seeing her and I was like, wow, she mm -hmm. was awesome. Yeah. But, you know, you go to those shows and you just get inspired because mm -hmm. there's so many fit people and you're like, this is amazing. And so forever I was like, I'm going to do a show, I'm going to do a show. And then I, you know, I... I finally was like, you know what, this is it, I'm going to do it, I started dieting, yeah. um, and not that I wasn't healthy before, mm -hmm. I just, I didn't focus that much on my diet, yeah. um, okay, you know, I would have that glass of wine at dinner, <laughs> and I would drink when I would go out, but, you know, you, you got to stop all that when you compete, so. mm -hmm. and yeah. you just feel so good, you know, like I, like I loved competing because... You know, you wake up in the morning, you do your cardio, and you, and then you have like a, a good day. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. And then, yeah, you quickly learn the, the sacrifices that have to be made when you're when you're competing, and you can see the look you're going super hard on this exercise. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and I my, saw you. My hard face. <laughs> I saw you look at the pin and you're like, oh, I can do this. And so you didn't change the pin at all. <laughs> and oh yeah, and as you can see. To, you, she does, you do do you do only do like a rest pause or what's your philosophy on that? Because I know when I work out, I, I I used to do rest pause. Sometimes I do do rest pause still on. And um, I changed. The pin there. Yeah, I saw you change the pin there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hey, we'll call that a drop set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call that a drop set. <laughs> so I I use I keep going until I can't go anymore. You like okay? Sometimes you like pause for a second and keep going. Um. It, it, it depends. Going? Like if. If I find that like I'm I'm getting to failure, I'm like okay, like I just need to pause for a second and, and get this one out. So oh, nice. yeah. So yeah, I guess like I, I would add a pause in if, just to finish my set, you know. Yeah. And um, I love working hard at the gym. I I obviously like like I know with the philosophy, you know, no pain, no gain. Like you just gotta, you know. Yeah, when you go to the gym, you want to make a difference. <laughs> yeah, you want to, like, you want to get in there yeah. and leave like being like that was a sick workout. You yeah, know? it's yeah. never a good feeling if you have acid. Yeah, exactly. There's the yeah, there's the uh, yeah, there's yeah, no, pain, no pain, no gain. Yeah, and um, you leave it all on the gym floor because, like I said, you never want to go into a show 
thinking that you could have trained harder. Because I find that you'd be half beaten if that's the case. Yeah. And then, like, you're like, okay, um, you, you, you look at somebody else and be like, wow, they look like they trained hard. <laughs> <laughs> and then you think, you're like, you have to think that you trained it just hard, and you have to think every work of it. And I love that shot. Yeah. yeah. The, the elves <laughs> doing, yeah. uh, doing their rear delt. Yeah, absolutely. Working their rear delt. Both going hard, of course. <laughs> nice, nice. And uh, I want to just want to also say that this was the last day that this was an extreme fitness. It's no longer extreme fitness, folks. It's good life fitness. Your life has taken over. And uh, this was the very last Saturday that um, this was an extreme fitness. So this is uh, one of the last shoulder workouts you ever see on this day. <laughs> yeah. We on this the net club, I should say. Yeah. Formerly on extreme fitness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, with delts as well, like I always, like I have to train till failure to, mm -hmm. to know that I'm, you know, going to build muscle there because mm -hmm. it is a hard muscle for me to build, you know. Mm -hmm. Like I build muscle pretty fast, but uh, uh, my shoulders have always been a difficult area for me. <laughs> To be honest. <laughs> that day I saw you, I, you, you, couldn't, you couldn't convince me that. You couldn't, they were like, I, you couldn't convince me that at all. Like, I couldn't, there's no way. I, I worked hard for those delts. <laughs> and now that you did, if you say your shoulders are one of those things that you, and you know what, I, you, I can say test to that because I remember when seeing you before, you were, you were a little more, you were definitely narrower in the deltoids. And, um, and you, again, you did a, a fabulous job of bringing them up. And, um, you really creating that uh, V taper that you that you have now, and that uh, you're going to be known for. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, those poses that I saw you take, like I, I said to you before, um, it was your back hurting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've never seen it popping like that in my life. I was like, wow. Um, <laughs> Your body was in two different sections, like of the stage. One part was the this part of the stage, the other part was that. Like, <laughs> yeah. It was, it was, and you said it didn't hurt at all. Like, no, it's you know naturally I kind of stand with my back arched. Mm -hmm. Um, so you know I, you know you got to create the curves when you're posing. You yeah. know, especially in bikini, yeah. you, you wanna you wanna have that womanly, you know, ass shape. Yes. Or, you know, bottle shape. Yeah. And you, like I said before, you, like we said before, you don't naturally have that, and you did a great job of creating that. And there were girls on stage that naturally had that, and they really couldn't show it off the way you did. Like you brought it, your A game that day, and Thank you. there's nobody. And like <laughs> I say, when they're in, in bodybuilding competitions, you could have like 20, 23 people on stage. Only there's only one person going home happy, and then probably 22 people are not so happy. And, and could have said, hey, I could have, you know, this should, they should have went this way, I should have went that way. Yeah. And um, in, in all, if you're honest with yourself that day, we'll look at this day, there's definitely, you deserve that. And then, again, the scorecards definitely probably showed that you probably had the, uh, everyone had a high score and you had the lowest score. <laughs> <laughs> And look at the deltoids there carrying that. Holy! <laughs> Putting the weights away. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Putting those. Did I put my other? I didn't put my other weights away. No, you didn't. Oh. I think I pan over and, and uh, yeah. show you that she needs weights in the middle. You know, people don't do that. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's funny because I think right there I was like, oh, no, people are so inconsiderate, <laughs> not put, taking the weights off. See, so look at that. And then you called me out. Mm, yeah, uh-huh. And I'm like, uh... <laughs> like I did. That guy almost tripped over. <laughs> yeah, I could have I could have injured somebody right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking you were going to go back to it. I'm like, oh, I'm just filming. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'll get there eventually. Mm -hmm. Let me get this set out. <laughs> so w when you're looking at doing your deltoids, um, are you looking... Yeah, obviously, you wanted to create that, that V taper, so mm -hmm. we saw you doing... Um, lateral raises and you did uh oh, you already did the dumbbell presses mm -hmm. um and then you did the rear press the rear uh lateral raises yeah i bent over um were you is there like a certain system that you follow or is i know you do the workout plan did you follow that like list by list in there and by step by step or did you <laughs> kind of mix it up and just throw hey here we'll do this one here this time we'll do that one that time or do you have like Okay, a specific order my, uh, that you want to um, here, have your yeah. workouts go and do your sets. Yeah, well, um, Adam <laughs> made my made my program, and uh, 
mostly it's, it's just about getting you know a, a rounded look so you want to you want to be balanced so um we i start with doing uh the, the front delts and i do a lot of exercises to sort of just like almost tire them out you know mm -hmm. so you just you like really hit that muscle specifically yeah. so so we we mix all the the front delt exercises together yeah. and then uh move on to rear delts and then i think near the end we just you know do this to finish them off and mm -hmm. um and then i uh am on to my triceps okay nice 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 and you find your you find which uh, muscle do you find like part of the deltoid you find like or like grows the fastest is it the front the side the rear it would it would definitely be uh, my front delt because i mean with with even chest press or bicep curl yeah. and you know you activate the front delt a lot yeah. more easy than you activate your your rear delt that being said you could activate your rear delt when you're doing your rows and stuff so you're uh, going down. but yeah it's it's a, you know my front delt definitely is more developed than my rear delt you don't have to see more. Oh, yeah, you do, yeah. More dangerous to try to get out. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah, you're already done now. The, the dumbbell press, and now you're doing the, the machine, the hammer uh, strength press. And I, I envy you guys, because you guys have hammer strength at your gym. And look at that. <laughs> look at the separation in the front deltoid. Oh, my goodness. There's two front That's deltoids there. Crazy. I've never <laughs> had that. So <laughs> well, there you go. Um, and you, where you're about three three weeks away in this uh, yeah. when we shot this. Um, yeah, and you came in super tight. Yeah, your, and we said your can was on point. Everything was on point. I was, like, I was astonished. I was like, wow. You, like, even if I didn't see the rest of the competition, because usually when have one of the shows and you know, the shows go, you look, and you really have to wait and see to who you're standing next to and in the comparison so you know the, the winner. I was like, yeah. when I when I when I didn't even I only saw like you. I saw you with the trophy, and I was like, wow, she looks like the winner. No, even even without even if the trophy was, mm, was like, you look like the winner. So you, when you go to these shows, especially at uh, different levels of the shows, you and then this is how it should be. You look like the winner of the next level of the competition. You know what I mean? Like, and, 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 that, and that's how it should be, you know. You, you're ahead of it. And then you go on to the next one, and when you go to the next show, you should be looking like the winner of the next show. So, or the next level, right? So, that's what you that's what you want to achieve, and that's, that's the main thing. That's, that shows that you work hard, you did your homework, you practice, your posing, and all those things. And I and a lot of times when you go to show, you see someone who has a great physique, but then they can't show it off sometimes. And I was like, so uh, why would show, you so work so hard like at bringing your physique to a certain level around? and then not like, know there's, there's how to pose properly and not know how to show it up? I was like, that is just, just totally this. backwards to me. And you did not look like you, um, that happened to you, you know, like you yeah. really did your homework. Yeah, well, I mean, I've done now, like, that was my fourth show. Mm -hmm. And with each show, you kind of, like, learn from your mistakes. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, you have to improve with everything. There's just always room for improvement. Mm -hmm. And um, especially with my posing, I think that I, I definitely nailed it on stage this time mm -hmm. more than I ever have. But, you know, like, like, even in Ottawa, it was sort of like... Mm -hmm. You know, I had done really well in my in, in Henderson Thorn. Yeah. I placed second, and yeah. then um, I wanted to compete in the mm -hmm. Toronto Pro Show. Yeah. So I I needed to you know <laughs> do well in an open show. So I went and I did the Ottawa, and I you know I I sort of decided around six weeks out to start dieting for it, mm -hmm. and it just wasn't enough time. You know, I didn't give myself enough time to prepare. Yeah. I didn't you know diet as smart. I didn't train as smart. You know. And like for this time around, I didn't, you know, like I, I had a really good meal plan. Yeah. I can honestly say that yeah. my diet wasn't even that hard. You yeah. know, like I had made it way more difficult for myself mm. for my first few shows. Did you make that mistake of like starving yourself, like many people do? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and like, yes, yeah. I, I, in the sense that I, I almost, you know, like for like four or five days you in a row, I, I cut my know. carbs down to like. <laughs> I, I don't I even know, want to tell you because it's a very thing, you know, but like, <laughs> but like 30 grams a day, like completely different, you know, like, and, 
No, I was, you know, flat and, <laughs> so I'm about like, you know, not improving any because yeah, I wasn't play. fueling oh, my body, play. right? Yeah, and yeah, um, this uh, meal uh, plan Adam gave yeah. me was just so much better. Like, yeah. I had a good mm-hmm. supplement program. Yeah. I had, a, like, an amazing, like, like sort of carb cycle that I did. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it wasn't too, it wasn't hard because I was still getting my carbs in the morning and I ran yeah. workouts. Yeah and then tapering off at night yes. and, you know, having enough fats as well. So when I would do my low carb days, I would, I would increase my fats so there that, you, go. you know, like <laughs> you, you got to balance it and you got to, you got to be careful because, you know, at the end of the day, this is fitness. You want to be healthy and you want to get on stage and you want to look healthy and yeah. like bright and like, you don't want to look like you depleted yourself. Yeah. And I think that that's kind of, you know, what I was doing before and, mm-hmm. You know, I just, I think that I, I did this a lot smarter and I worked a lot longer. I dieted yeah. probably for around, around 10 weeks. Okay. Um, 10 weeks. <laughs> Let me tell you, that's not that long. You know, there's girls <laughs> that have to diet for 21 weeks, 16 weeks. Um, oh, wow. yeah, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, they, it, it just the, the way the body is sometimes. Yeah. Um, and sometimes your starting point, you know. Yeah, but exactly. If, if I'm telling, you know, if I'm going to sit down and do a show, I always say, you know what, you're, I, you want to start your diet, like, mm-hmm. uh, you don't want to go any higher than 12 weeks, essentially, because then it does a toll, like, you, you will be, you know, because you're, you're going to have cravings, women have uh, different hormones. Exactly, <laughs> you have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do have no idea, but it's somewhat I do now, because uh, of the amount of women I work with, so. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's, uh, it's the most difficult time of your diet, too. Perfect. You're just like, oh, I can't. I just want to eat everything right now. It makes no sense. <laughs> yeah. And I remember uh, Jen, John, I'm going to put Jen out there, yeah, um, <laughs> uh, messaging me at like 2 o'clock in the morning, asking me if she can have strawberries and Nutella. <laughs> <laughs> I go, Jen, what do you think? <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> 2 o'clock in the morning. I was like, are you going to run a marathon? <laughs> 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 Oh, man. Uh, the same thing. oh man, yeah. Hilarious. Yeah, uh, and she didn't even know why she wanted it. And then after the show, she didn't want it. I guess that rinse it. <laughs> yeah, right. It's almost like, especially like you're, you're at your leanest and you're like, yeah, yeah. I really want to cheat, but it looks yeah. so good. It's the worst. Yeah. Oh, I cheated after my show. Oh, yeah. It, it, I was like, this is fun. deserved. <laughs> oh, yeah, she, yeah definitely. That's definitely. Like definitely. When you but on, generally, like, especially with preparing, channel. like, you know how you say, like, some yeah. girls are at different yeah. points in their preparation, so they have to diet a lot longer. <laughs> but, like, you know, I, 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 I love food and I love making healthy meals. Yeah. And that's what I always strive for. You know, I'll, I, I regular, you know, maybe once a week, once every two weeks, I'll, I'll cheat. Um, but mostly, like, I, I eat clean every day, yeah. and um, off-season, I'll gain about, you know, like, five or ten pounds. Yeah, yeah that's and, good. You know, and it's mm-hmm. not that hard to lose. Yeah, and, and yeah, and that's, yeah. That's, that's that's one of the main things. You, you gotta, you're, um, you get, you gotta, I, I feel you still should look, like, you know, reminiscent to uh, how you look on stage, and you're like, well, you look, work out, you work out, or you don't want to. Asking if you do work out. Yeah, you know? <laughs> I, just, I just look a little, like a little bit thicker, you yes. know. And yeah. when yeah. I, when I get to you know mm-hmm. stage ready, I'm yeah. a lot leaner and tighter. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And speaking of food and everything, I we mean, have your the Oxygen magazine, in which yes. this month you are uh, featured in, along with some other familiar faces that I know, uh, Erica and Nubia. I'm not too sure the other girl. <laughs> Megan. Yeah, Megan. She, there we she go. actually competed with me in, in UFE in my okay. first show. Oh, okay, yeah. there we go. That's how we met. Right, okay, <laughs> perfect. And, uh, and how did that shoot go? I know you guys have a lot of nice, uh, the chocolate hazelnut. Oh, it was a great shoot. It, it was an, like, it was an unreal experience for me because, you know, like, I've been reading so Oxygen since I was in high school uh, and it's. It's like, you know, it was always my dream to be in Oxygen um, yeah, with all these fit yeah, and amazing looking women, you know, and it's, it's so, 
I can't even tell you how great it was to open a Disney magazine and see myself in there. I still can't believe it, you know? I remember it. I think it came out that weekend that we shot this, actually. Maybe. I think it was. Yeah. Um, so no, no. close. It could be like a, the week after. The week after. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I remember I was talking to you. You were super excited about it. Maybe and it did. Maybe I, I found a photo. Yeah. Yeah, you did find a photo. Yeah. You posted something like it was maybe a couple days after. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, I remember you were super excited about it. And looking, uh, the sisters in shape here. <laughs> Yeah. And there's a lot of this bread stuff with cupcakes. Uh, we won't even talk about that because I'm dieting. <laughs> <laughs> I am I am kind of back on my diet mm -hmm. now, like after my my uh, few days of mm. awesome food. <laughs> have you done multi like shows? Like, have you done like okay, this close? Because I know the, the June first is coming up. Yeah. And yeah. have you done like a show and food. then post that post post post? Uh, no, I haven't actually. Like, I've never done. Mm -hmm. Um, the back to back I shows. Either, yeah. I and I mean, this is, I've, I've still lived like a month a bit in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which is great yeah. because I I, it gives me time to yeah. just change up my body a little bit, maybe, after, you know, work on my glutes a little more. Yeah. I always want to, yeah. you know, and for yeah. bikini, you know, glutes is a must. It's, it's, it's definitely you know. a must. And that's what I was going to ask you is like, is there anything you want in between these shows now that you want to bring up as you're doing, uh, uh, Delts here, and you're doing uh, I didn't even recognize you at first. Oh. <laughs> what? Um, yeah, is there anything that you wanted to, uh, to oh, yeah. bring up even even more? Like, obviously, you just said glutes for sure. Yes. Yeah. Always super well, important. Well, I always, I always focus a lot on my stomach because I, you know, it's. So Being a girl is something that, yeah. you know, you're always a little bit, uh, at least I am, a bit self-conscious of, yeah. and, uh, like, I, I want to bring it in a little bit more, I think that I could, I could get my glutes to a bit more narrow, and, um, and again, just, like, work on my glutes, and just stay tight, maintain, really, and, which I don't think is going to be too hard, you know, I have another month. And, yeah. yeah. Out and as soon as well, I did ten, then you got you died for ten weeks. I say only oh, different things, oh, yeah. but like yeah. this is well, yeah. but you got in shape that yeah. quickly. Yeah. Um, I so have no track. doubt that you'll probably be pretty, like if not better than I think you'd be better than uh, yeah. this show. This show coming out, and that's gonna look great. Like again, I said, you look like <laughs> you're ready for the next level in this show. Yeah. In the in the show you just did, so. That definitely works to your advantage. Yeah. And uh, and that's how you know that you're 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 ready for this. Oh. Um, and I'm and you know like I'm I I love working hard. Like I I, I want you know I want to show what I work for. And yeah. At the same time, it's like you know it's great having you know Tasha with yeah. me because yeah. you know my sister. It's always training hard. Yeah. Always dieting yeah. really well. I try not to hit my even when she's not competing, you know. Yeah. And uh, she's uh, she's, uh, she's thinking about competing in the pro show. So oh, she's, nice. she started her diet. Oh, okay. Um, is and she is she qualified for the pro show already? She did. She oh, placed. Uh, actually, you know what's funny is that yep. she did Stratford last year. Oh, placed third. Nice. So I did. nice. So I did she's, summer. she's built up a lot more so since then. Oh, yeah, and you're bringing like a totally different Oh, absolutely. Yeah. She's, she's got I bigger shoulders, a bigger back. Like, mm -hmm. Is she working she with good. anybody? She's actually I mean, working with Adam. Okay, now. there we you go. Know? So, uh, oh, man. I'm going to be so interested to see this. <laughs> yeah. You know, the Al twin, <laughs> yeah. the figure and bikini. Like absolutely. It's going to be kind of cool. Yeah, so so um, but yeah, I'm. Uh, it, and it's good because, you know, I can't slack, obviously, for this. <laughs> but I, I'm like, not that I would, but yeah. it's, it's even better that Tash yeah. is doing it. As well, because we can work together. You yeah, know? yeah. And um, you know, it's it's always good being around people that are just as motivated as you, because it keeps you on track. You know. Absolutely. What well, in your arm? You're doing your your triceps right now. Like I said, your your triceps are are pretty <laughs> developed there. You know, you're like you you carry more muscle than uh, most bikini girls. And if you make it work for you, like I said, I, I, I told, I, I've always said to myself, and I, I said that you have a physique very reminiscent to Jamie Eason. And she, she has muscle to her. She didn't compete that much. <laughs> she probably competed one time in her life or something like that. But, um, definitely, you guys have similar physique. You guys carry, uh, like, you guys carry noticeable muscle. And, um, 
Yeah. You make it work for you. What is your like your philosophy behind training your arms? Is it like, is it, are you trying to maintain? Are you trying to get bigger? Are you trying to... Yeah. Well, yeah. since you know, since I am competing in bikini, um, I I like to maintain my arms. Mm -hmm. I don't want them any bigger be mm -hmm. because I it's not a bikini look. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So like, I, there's a fine line between bikini and bigger, yeah. right? So yeah. it's that bigger upper body and bigger arms, and yeah. I, I'm kind of right on that line. Yeah. So I gotta, you know, I'll work my tricep. To maintain them, yeah. um, but nothing that's going to, you know, make them grow too much. Um, just because, you know, I, I don't want to have big arms yeah. on stage for bikini. So you don't yeah. pyramid in sets on your arms. You yeah. Do you do you do on your shoulders, but you don't do on your arms. No. No, okay. no absolutely so, not. And that's a that's a good that's a good plan. Like people don't think some people don't think bikini girls work very hard. I'm telling you right now, as you can see, uh, as a fact, right in front of you right now. <laughs> They do. Exactly. <laughs> they have to. You know, it's not. You don't just roll out of bed and hop on. You know, and some heels and uh, sparkly bikini. Exactly. Yeah. No. Um, I mean, you could, but yeah. it's just it defeats the yeah. purpose of the competition. Yes. <laughs> yes. And here you are. How many um, uh, different sets do you do for your triceps? Just two, because just two. I, I want to keep it, um, mm -hmm. you know, relatively light. Yeah. And, um, I. As she's doing dips. Again, I have I have short arms, right? Because mm -hmm. I am petite, so yeah. they they hold more muscle. Um, but you know that's, that's why I gotta do them light. I don't wanna mm -hmm. I don't wanna make them look too big like I yeah. said before. So I I only do two exercises for for this. Mm -hmm. But um, this is one of my favorite exercises actually. Just oh, yeah. you do, like yeah. you do feel it in other areas of your yeah. body, yeah. your chest, you know, your yeah. back. Um, and I, I find that it actually gets me, you know, like mm -hmm. a little out of breath. Yeah. It's a good exercise. You had mentioned before, you told me that you do deadlifts. Yes. Yes, you do deadlifts. I love deadlifts. And can you believe that? Folks with the uh, bikini girl doing deadlifts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the one of maybe like three or four in the world. <laughs> <laughs> And um, I, I, I like to know the stats on like, how many people just do deadlifts, and um, that that would be that's I think that's uh, I think that's that's monumental. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I think more people should because it it works your entire posterior chain mm -hmm. and and activates your core. Yeah, you know, and it for you know for girls that have mm -hmm. you know problems with building their glutes, it's an amazing exercise because it. It for one it, it builds them and it lifts your glutes. Yes, you know? there we so, go. And it gives a good, very good stretching hamstring. And I don't it does. Care. And people need to realize when you're doing bikini, stretching and keeping long, looking linear muscles are very important. Yeah. You know, so getting the full stretch and can, uh, when you before you do your or even stretching after too uh, is I think is, is super important because it's just it, yeah. it, just, it just makes the has the muscles it makes the muscles have a different look to them. Oh, for sure. Um, that being said, it's like it's, it's funny because I'm always trying to find new ways to activate my glutes because yes. my hamstrings are, you know, they take over mm -hmm. when I work out. So yeah. it's like if I'm doing deadlifts, I'll do like an activation exercise for oh, my okay. glutes, Very smart, and yeah. then I go into my deadlifts uh, just because, like I said, my I have really strong hamstrings and yeah. they just they, they like to do the work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. I hear you. As we're coming down to the final uh, set, and, uh, anyways, um, is there any uh, like shout outs you want to give out to uh, the people watching? You're, are you sponsored? You, you sponsored? Um, I, I'm not sponsored. Listen up, people. <laughs> She's not sponsored. Here's the time to get her now. <laughs> um, at least I don't think I am. I'm not going to say anything because, mm -hmm. I, you know, like I. I, I I do demos and stuff for yeah. Muscle Tech. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'm not an official sponsor of yeah. them or anything, but that's what I do. <laughs> All right, she does uh, uh, something for some hurry yeah. up before they scoop her up. She's <laughs> winning shows, people. <laughs> yeah, come on. You always have the, the sponsorship in us. So watch me train. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, I guess I would just you know like to give a shout out to to Adam, my coach, because he was amazing in my in my show and he's. He was there almost every step of the way, as well as Sue Ling, actually. Yep, Sue is great. Yeah. I'm, I'm supposed to be uh, recording Sue with Muay Thai. <laughs> she told me. <laughs> Sue, if you're listening, we got a book. <laughs> yeah, she was, she was great in this. Yeah. Um, she she helped me before I got on stage with my tan, and mm -hmm. 
everything. All right, this is it. Watch me train. See you later, folks. <laughs> Hi, I'm Anya Els, and I am competing in the 25th Annual Festival City Championships in Stratford, 2013. So, watch me train.